Welcome to Starburns Unmasked. Welcome to Starburns Unburned. Welcome to Commune Behind the Scenes Nitty. Production Code 215 is definitely one of my favorite episodes. And maybe it might be my favorite storyline ever on Community, and I'm, yes, I said it, is when Troy has this ridiculous love for LeVar Burton. LeVar's a really cool guy. I was like, what are you doing now? And he was like, oh, I'm creating like these kind of like think pads for children, for, like education for kids. And I was like, that's really cool. And he was like, yeah, that's some gangster shit. Like, and I was like, oh, oh, that guy's the coolest. He called helping kids gangster shit. All that they had was a large, lumpy spud that they'd found in the field, all covered with mud. Well, a lovely fan asked who the writer of this episode is, and it's me, um, Megan Gans. Uh, I'm a new staff writer this year, second season. Favorite parts of the job are I get to see the episodes before anyone else does, um, which being a big fan last year is really exciting for me. And I like writing my writer's draft the week that I have to um, to, to, to work on it myself. I, I really like. Least favorite parts, uh, sometimes before the read we do all-nighters and I'm not very, I don't get funnier as the day gets longer. So that's been an adjustment for me, but um, but it's still kind of fun because like there hits a, a, a moment at like 3 a.m. when you just, you're like, forget it. I know, everything is fine. Yes, okay, fine, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. All stories at Community start with a, what is called an area, which is basically like saying the premise. So an example of an area would be, try and I would build a robot. The areas that, uh, that old Willy Wonka here likes, they get turned into embryos, we call them, stored, if you will, in a, in a Jurassic Park embryo farm that is really a whiteboard with a bunch of little circles on it. The writers have to flesh that out by connecting all those dots. Slowly that thing becomes what would be recognizable as an outline. What you're catching are these little logical bumps before you're wasting the writer's time. Because the next step after the outline is they take the outline home. That writer is writing a draft in about a week's time. Really, we all know what they're really doing. They're watching television and going to the bar. But, and then they spend the last two days freaking out and pulling a draft together. I know that because that is, that is how I wrote the pilot. The draft comes in, you look at it and you go, oh my God, this is awesome. Then with relatively few tweaks from me, it, it goes to what's called a table read. A uh, table read is a political performance for the studio and network at which the uh, actors, they don't get to eat lunch and they read the script to the rich people that own the world. I, I feel like people should be wearing togas. I love this episode. I was hoping there could be more romance. Don't forget to raise the stakes. I'm not tracking Troy's character. And we go, Whoa, good idea, Ted. They leave and we go up to the room and we go, nah, nah, stupid, stupid people, we hate them. And then we find out that Ted actually was right. Uh, Troy's character needed, needed to be tracked and, and the romance actually helps the episode. Uh, I think I lost the story process somewhere in there. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave a comment below the uh, video here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>